Hi friends, I have another fun space book for you today. We are going to be reading Pete the Cat Out of This World. All right, let's see what Pete does on his space adventure. It's a great day. Pete the Cat is going to space camp. Pete meets his bunkmate Glenn. As they unpack, there is an announcement. Welcome space campers. Please head to the classroom. Your mission begins now. Time to suit up, says Pete. He and Glenn put on their uniforms and race to class. There are so many cool things to do and super nut neat stuff to see. Astronauts Tom and Chris talk about their trips they've taken and they give a sneak peek at future space trips. It would be totally rad to go to space, says Pete. The campers find out what it feels like to be an astronaut. They go in the zero gravity chamber. They ride in rovers. They even build rockets. Pete's rocket flies very, very far. Way to go, Pete, shouts Glenn. Do you guys see that um, Pete's friends at space camp are Sally and Glenn? And I think it's really interesting. I think our author is paying tribute to two very famous astronauts from our past. Um, so John Glenn was a famous astronaut from the 60s, and he was the first um, American to orbit the Earth. Um, and Sally Ride was another really famous astronaut. And um, in the 80s, she was the first female, um, the first American female, I should say, to go to outer space. So that's super interesting. That's so fun that our author did that. Next stop is Mission Control. We have some exciting news, says Tom. Our next flight leaves today. We're going to the moon and we have room for more. Pete, do you want to go? Asks Sally. That would be awesome, says Pete. So they're gonna launch soon. They're gonna launch in 10 minutes and five seconds. It's time to buckle up and settle into the space capsule. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Their ship speeds through space. They blast past the satellite and even spot a comet. Tom and Sally have a rockin' surprise for Pete, his guitar. He plays a groovy interstellar song for them. Mission Control listens in. So instead of having a bathroom on this ship, they have um, a litter box right here. <laughs> in no time at all, they arrive on the moon. They are ready to explore. The astronauts collect rocks and map out the moon's surface. Pete has a very important job to do. He straps on a jetpack and heads towards Mars. He takes tons of pictures. Oh no! Pete lost track of time and the moon is far, far away. He has to make it back to the ship before it blasts off. Phew! Pete made it back in the nick of time. The astronauts head home and there's time for a few more tunes. Pete sure knows how to make an entrance. Pete's trip to outer space was out of this world. Still, he's psyched to have his feet back on solid ground. Rock it on, Pete. The end. Thanks for listening, friends. Bye.